Welcome to this informative video on the cell as the basic unit of life. In this video, we're going to explore the incredible complexity and wonders of life at its most fundamental level. What exactly is a cell? Well, imagine it as the building block of life, the smallest functional unit that makes up all living organisms. Whether it's a tiny bacterium or a mighty oak tree, cells are the foundation upon which life as we know it is built. But don't let their size fool you. Cells are teeming with intricate machinery and processes that keep life going. The cells come in different shapes, sizes, and types, but they all share certain key components. Let's take a closer look at some of these fascinating features. In an animal cell, we have a protective outer boundary called the cell membrane. It acts like a gatekeeper controlling what goes in and out of the cell. Inside, we find the nucleus, often referred to as the control centers of the cell. It houses the cell's DNA, the genetic blueprint that holds the instructions for all cellular activities. Plant cells, on the other hand, have an additional layer called the cell wall providing extra support and protection. They also contain chloroplasts, which are like mini solar power plants, capturing sunlight to carry out photosynthesis and produce energy-rich molecules. Now let's dive deeper into the incredible activities happening inside cells. One crucial process is called protein synthesis. Proteins are essential for building and repairing tissues, and they perform various functions within the cell and throughout the body. During protein synthesis, a cell's ribosomes read the instructions from DNA and assemble amino acids into specific protein structures. Another awe-inspiring event is cell division, cells reproduce, and multiply through a process known as mitosis. This ensures that living organisms can grow, repair damaged tissues, and maintain a healthy balance in their bodies. Mitosis is a tightly regulated process ensuring each new cell inherits a complete set of genetic information. Now, you might be wondering, do cells communicate with each other? Well, they sure do. Cells use various methods to send signals, share information, and coordinate their activities. It's like a busy city with cells buzzing around, exchanging messages, and working together to keep the organism in harmony. The cells exhibit an astounding diversity, tailored to meet the specific needs of different organisms. Let's take a closer look at some noteworthy examples. Prokaryotic cells. These are simple single-celled organisms without a distinct nucleus. Bacteria are a prime example of prokaryotic cells. They possess DNA, ribosomes, and other essential structures enclosed within a protective cell wall. Eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells are more complex and found in plants, animals, fungi, and protists. They have a distinct nucleus enclosed within a nuclear membrane, which houses their genetic material. Eukaryotic cells also contain specialized organelles such as mitochondria, responsible for energy production, and the endoplasmic reticulum, involved in protein synthesis. Mitochondria, often referred to as the powerhouses of the cell, Mitochondria generate energy by converting nutrients into adenosine triphosphate. This energy currency fuels cellular activities, enabling organisms to carry out essential functions. Endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum acts as a transportation network within the cell, facilitating the movement of proteins and lipids. It consists of rough endoplasmic reticulum studded with ribosomes that synthesize proteins and smooth endoplasmic reticulum involved in lipid metabolism and detoxification processes. Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus serves as a processing and packaging center. It receives proteins and lipids from the ER, modifies them, and packages them into vesicles for transport to various destinations within or outside the cell. Nucleus. The nucleus houses the cell's DNA, which contains the instructions for the cell's activities. It is like the control center coordinating and regulating cellular functions by transcribing the DNA into RNA and directing protein synthesis. Cell membrane. The cell membrane is a vital component of cells. It is a selectively permeable barrier that allows the passage of essential substances while keeping harmful ones out. 
The membrane is composed of a phospholipid bilayer embedded with proteins that aid in various cellular processes such as transportation, signaling, and cell adhesion. Cytoskeleton the cytoskeleton is a network of protein filaments that provides structural support and shape to the cell. It consists of three main components, microtubules, microfilaments, and intermediate filaments. The cytoskeleton also plays a crucial role in cell division, intracellular transport, and cell movement. Lysosomes. Lysosomes are small organelles filled with digestive enzymes, they act as the cell's recycling centers, breaking down waste materials, cellular debris, and engulfed foreign substances through a process called autophagy. Lysosomes also play a role in programmed cell death, also known as apoptosis. Vacuoles. Vacuoles are membrane-bound sacs found in plant and fungal cells, as well as some protists. They serve various functions such as storage of water, nutrients, and waste products. In plant cells, the central vacuole also helps maintain cell turgidity and provides structural support. Chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are unique to plant cells and some protists. They are responsible for photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water into glucose energy-rich molecules and release oxygen as a byproduct. Chloroplasts contain chlorophyll, a pigment that captures light energy, cell diversity, Cells exhibit incredible diversity across different organisms. For example, neurons are specialized cells found in the nervous system, enabling communication and transmitting signals. Muscle cells contract and generate force, allowing movement. Red blood cells transport oxygen throughout the body, while white blood cells play a crucial role in the immune system's defense mechanisms. Cell adhesion and cell junctions. Cells adhere to each other and form tissue structures through specialized cell adhesion molecules and cell junctions. These adhesive interactions are crucial for maintaining tissue integrity, cell communication, and coordinated movement. Examples of cell junctions include tight junctions, adherence junctions, desmosomes, and gap junctions. Cellular diversity and specialization. Cells exhibit remarkable diversity and specialization across different tissues and organisms. Through the process of cell differentiation, cells acquire specific structures and functions to perform specialized roles. This specialization allows for the organization of cells into tissues, organs, and systems, ensuring the efficient functioning of complex organisms. Cell metabolism. Metabolism refers to all the chemical reactions that occur within a cell to sustain life. It involves processes such as nutrient uptake, energy production through cellular respiration or photosynthesis, and the synthesis of molecules essential for cell growth and maintenance. Cell size. Cells can vary significantly in size. While most cells are microscopic, some can be relatively large, for instance, the chicken egg is a single cell that is visible to the naked eye. The size of cells is influenced by factors such as their function, metabolic requirements, and the organism they belong to. Cell diversity in multicellular organisms. In multicellular organisms, different types of cells collaborate to perform specialized functions. This division of labor allows for the efficient functioning of complex organisms. For example, muscle cells contract to generate movement, while glandular cells secrete hormones or other substances. Cell aging. Cells undergo aging processes influenced by factors such as DNA damage oxidative stress and telomere shortening. Aging can lead to a decline in cellular function and is associated with age-related diseases. Research into understanding cellular aging mechanisms may help develop interventions for healthy aging. And there you have it. Thank you for joining us on this educational trip. See you in the next video.